Okay, students. So welcome. Let's see. I will solve a question today based on semiconductor physics. On screen, we will see the question where we need to find the probability that the state is not occupied by electron. So for this formula, which we are going to use, is that one minus F e. So F e is the probability that state is occupied by electron. So to find the probability that state is not occupied, we'll take one minus F e. Now for this, we need to calculate. these details so we need to calculate first what is k into t k is the boltzmann constant t is the room temperature which will be in kelvin is 300 and when we convert it in electron volt we need to divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 so we'll substitute this Into the formula, and what we're going to get is one upon one plus one minus one upon one plus e raised to e zero point zero one divided by zero point zero two six. Now, when we substitute the details, we'll get it is one minus one upon one plus e raised to 0.385 and students when we calculate we'll get this value this probability that state is not occupied by electron is 0.595 let's move towards the next question here we need to calculate the resistivity we have given density of carriers mobility of electrons is given and the mobility of hole is also given now the formula which we are going to use is conductivity and density of charge carrier charge on each electron mobility of electron plus mobility of holes and from this conductivity we can find the resistivity by taking the reciprocal and when we reciprocate we will get the value of resistivity is 0.43 ohm meter let's see the next question question number 3 where we have given the hall voltage and we need to calculate the hall coefficient so for this you'll see on your screen there is a formula which we are going to use hall voltage is current density magnetic field b divided by n into e now i can rewrite this as current density in terms of current is i upon a n into e now one upon n e is the hall coefficient so i'll replace it with the hall coefficient and area will get replaced with the width into thickness now width get width get cancelled so we will be having formula vh equals to rh into i b divided by t so when we substitute this detail so rh i can write as is equals to vh into t hall voltage into thickness divided by i current into magnetic field let's substitute the value so we have given hall voltage is 37 into 10 to minus 6 we have given thickness 1 mm which we convert in meter 10 to minus 3 meter current is given 20 milli ampere which we will convert into the ampere 20 into 10 to the minus 3 and magnetic field is given 0.5 b weber per meter square the final answer which we will get after calculating is 37 into 10 to the minus 7 meter cube per coulomb let's towards the next question a sample of n type silicon has donor density is given so for calculating this will be using the same formula vh equals to jb on ne where n is same as the donor density so when we substitute the values hall voltage comes out to be 
फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव विच इज गिवेन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड विथ इज गिवेन फोर पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन्स टू माइनस थ्री मीटर डिवाइडेड बाय डोनर डेंसिटी इज टेन्स टू पावर ट्वेंटी एंड चार्ज ऑन इच इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन्स टू माइनस नाइनटीन सो वेन वी कैलकुलेट Hall voltage will get zero point zero seven seven three volt. The next we calculate Hall coefficient, and the Hall coefficient is one upon n e. So to calculate the Hall coefficient, we know the donor density is ten to twenty. And charge on each electron is one point six into ten to minus nineteen. So the Hall coefficient comes out to be zero point zero six two five meter cube per coulomb. Now the third we need to calculate is Hall angle. So for Hall angle, we'll be writing this formula: theta ten inverse mobility into magnetic field B. So when we substitute mobility and magnetic field, this comes out to be 5.31 degree. Let's move towards the next question. In a common base connection, emitter current is given, collector current is given. We need to calculate the base current. So for for base current, we'll be using this formula: I E equals to I C plus I B. so for calculating this ib i can rewrite this as ib is equals to ie minus ic so i'll get 1 minus 0.95 so the final answer will be 0.05 milliampere now we need to find the value of beta if alpha is 0.98 so the beta formula the formula which we are going to use is beta equals to alpha upon 1 minus alpha therefore beta equals to 0.98 divide by 1 minus 0.98 the value comes out to be 49 Let's see the next question. In a transistor, base current is given, emitter current given. We need to calculate alpha, and from alpha, the collector current we need to calculate. So the formula which we are going to use, alpha equals to beta upon one plus beta. So alpha will be beta, which is four forty divided by four forty plus one. So the value comes out to be zero point nine nine seven seven. Next, we need to calculate the collector current, and for collector current, IC equals to beta IB. So I can write this IC beta value is given four forty multiplied by sixty eight into ten to minus six ampere. So micro ampere will convert in ampere. So the final answer will get is twenty nine point nine two milli ampere. Let's move towards the next question. Where for junction field effect transistor we have given maximum drain current, and we need to find the value of drain current. So for this we'll be using this formula. Let's substitute the values. So I D is equals to thirty two into ten to minus three will convert milli ampere into ampere. One minus V G S is given minus four point five volt. V G S off is given minus eight volt. So when we calculate, we'll get this value as six point one two milli ampere. Now again for a JFET, we have given transconductance. Maximum transconductance is given four thousand micro Siemens. We need to calculate GM. Now the formula for this is let's substitute the details. So 
transconductance will be the maximum value is given 4000 micro siemens 1 minus vgs value is given minus 3 volt divide by minus 8 volt so we'll get this value of transconductance as 2500 micro s now for jfet we have given the value of idss so for calculating this we'll substitute the value for drain current id is equals to 16 milliampere into 1 minus the value of vg is given minus 5 volt which is divided by minus 8 volt and the square of this so it will come out to be 2.25 milliampere to calculate the value of VDS, drain to source voltage, VDD is given 10 volt minus the drain current is given. We have calculated drain current is 2.25 into times to minus 3. We convert milliampere into ampere and drain resistance is given 2.2 kilo ohm. So 2.2 into times to 3 ohms. So when we calculate the drain to source voltage comes out to be 5.0. 05 volt thank you students so these are all questions based on semiconductor physics